This is an update for Sunday, September 4th through Saturday, September 9th. Sorry, there's a chipmunk crawling around in the lilac bushes there. Uh, the Napa job I took is going fine. I've been there Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, uh, 9 to 3. It's supposed to be about 32 hours a week, so it'll be at current Monday through Friday, three or 9 to 3. Um, it's fine. I have a background and experience in auto mechanics. My father's a retired mechanic of 30 plus years, so I'm totally familiar with auto parts and the workings of auto parts stores pretty well. Um, so yeah, it, it should be a good job. Now that I have that and we get a set schedule down, I can start working other things into it, like uh, getting on a much better exercise schedule and uh, a study schedule. I haven't had the ability to get out on the bike again, so I don't actually think I'm going to get out on it anymore this year. It's just... You get up at 6, 6.30 in the morning when you really need, I need to be able to get out there and do it, and it's it's just too dark to safely ride the open roads. Sorry, that chipmunk is uh, distracting me. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get that down. We'll have to start running or something that I can do when it's dark out safely. Uh, the five-year-old's wrist is healing up really well. I believe I mentioned that in last week's video, and the one-year-old's eyebrow, they're, they're healing up just fine. Uh, the fun of this week was my our van has had a uh, check engine light coming on, and eventually it just didn't go off, and it was, uh, was it Labor Day. Yeah, that's the one. I always get Labor Day Memorial Day confused. Anywho, Labor Day. I decided to pop the hood on the van and take a look at it. It was giving me some random misfire codes, especially on cylinder one. So I uh, popped the hood open and uh, I just wanted to check the plugs. And I didn't do cylinder one initially. The uh, you look at it, uh, that van. The odd plugs are in the back towards the firewall. The even plugs are up front. So I popped the plug off of. Uh, I want to say cylinder six, I'm not sure, and I went to pull the plug wire off, and the plug wire just ripped. They were really old wires. So I immediately knew I was going to need a new set of plug wires. Not a big not a big deal. So I popped the spark plug out, and they were just, the, the electrodes were gone. They were really old. Uh, we were told when we bought this van that all the you know, normal maintenance and everything had pretty much been kept up on it, and this... There's no way it was. These are original 200,000 mile spark plugs in this thing. So I ended up doing a plug and wire job. Uh, I knew I had to, so I've been hitting the uh, plugs with uh, some uh, PB Blaster a few times, and that helped out immensely. Those plugs, they just they came right out, which is amazing because you know they're open plugs and they were rusty, and I was expecting to have to fight, but they just popped right out. So we got the plug job done. Uh, got the plug wires on. I originally, initially, actually uh, screwed up the firing order on the back cylinders, the odd cylinders, and it was running terrible. And I was getting frustrated. And then I, you know, just kind of thought about things and went back to the drawing board. And it was the only logical thing that was left that I had messed something up with the firing order. So I got that corrected. The van is running amazingly now. We uh, went from getting 18, 19 miles to the gallon out on the open road to like 23, 24. <laughs> And, you know, I mean, 23, 24 miles a gallon is not bad, but when you're talking a, a van with uh, 211,000 on it, you're, uh, I mean, that, that's, that's really good. So we're happy there. That was my adventure for the week. Um, other than that, not a lot has changed, not a lot going on. We need to figure out what we're going to do about health insurance because NAPA does offer benefits to part-time employees. So we're going to have to determine whether I can get health insurance through Napa and then leave the family on the, uh, the state health insurance that we currently got because we can't afford to get them on the health insurance with Napa. They, they pay it for me, but not for anyone else. So I think that's probably what's going to happen. I'm going to have health insurance through them, and then my family will stay on with the state health insurance. Um, yeah, so aside from the spark plugs, there hasn't been a lot of adventures this week. Everything's just been going pretty smoothly. So may the Lord bless and uh, keep you all always, and uh, please remember to uh, like and subscribe if you have it, and uh, pass the channel on to anybody you think might want to watch it.